Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So it says that uh, angle X is 62 degree given. Angle X, Y, Z is 54 degree. And uh, if Z, O and O, Z are bisectors of these angles, we have to find O, Z, Y, this angle. Y, O, Z, this angle. So we can do it actually. See, these two angles are given. We can easily find this angle. This will be what? 62 plus 54 and subtract 180 from this. And that is 64. So this whole angle will be 64. So this angle is 64. This angle, small angle will be how much? 32. And this small angle also? 32. Similarly, this is 54. So this small angle how much? 27. Right? Now if you see, we have to find this angle 1. This is already there, 32 degree. And now since these two angles are there, I can easily find this angle. So let this be x. So x plus 27 plus 32 is equal to 180 degree. So with this, finding x is easy. So 7 plus 2, 9, 59, and so 121 degree. Yeah. So I have found x that is y o z i found o z y o z y that is 32 degree and this is 120 degree very easy just apply angles and property okay sorry triangles and property so given that ab is parallel to de and bac is 35 degree cd is 53 degree we have to find dce where is dce DC. this is something we have to find and given that these are parallel, L is parallel to M. So if this is parallel, this is 35, this is how much? 35. So this is 35, alternate angle. This is how much pretty easy? This will be what? 180 degree minus 53 minus 35. That is 92 degree. Pretty easy. You can just write in new words, right? This angle will be equal to this angle, alternate angle. Once we know this angle, in this triangle, we know these two angles. We can easily find third angle because some of the angle in a triangle is 180 degree. Okay. Line PQ, RS, PQ, PQ and RS, they intersect each other at point T. PRT is 45, 40 degree, PRT. RPT, RPT 90 T TSQ is 75. We have to find SQT. SQ, this have to find. This is pretty easy. See, for finding this, we need to know this. And we know that these two angles are equal. This angle is pretty easy. How can you find 180 degree minus these two? Because some of these three is 180 degree. This will be 180 minus 95 minus 40. That will come out to be 45 degree. This angle is 45 degree. If this angle is 45 degree, this angle is also 45 degree. Vertical opposite angle. This is 45, this is 75, can easily find this, let this be x, so x plus 45 plus 75, if you add this you get 180 degree, right, so x, if you solve it you get 60 degree, so this is 60 degree, pretty easy. In this, PQ is parallel, perpendicular to PS, this is PQ, PS, 90 degree given. PQ is parallel to SR, PQ and SR are parallel, L and M parallel. SQR is 28 degree, SQR is 28 degree given, QRT is 65 degree given, we have to find X and Y. So if you see these two are parallel, so this angle 65 degree will be equal to X plus 28 degree, correct? Because PQ is parallel to ST, alternate angle. So I can say that X plus 28 is nothing but 65 degree. So with this if you solve X is nothing but 37 degree so you found the value of x that is 37 degree so once you find the value of x you can easily find the value of y because in this triangle sum is 180 degree this angle is 90 already given this is 37 given so we can easily find y y plus 90 degree plus 37 degree will be equal to 180 degree because in this triangle pqs angles are triangles angles and property of a triangle you solve this, you get the y value as 53 degree. This is 53 degree. 
So we can easily find the value of x and y. Okay. So let's take one last question. So it says that decide the QR of triangle PQR. There is a triangle PQR, the side QR. This is produced to S. Bisector of PQR and bisector of PRS, they meet at point T. So we have to prove that QTR, this angle, is equal to half of QPR, this angle. So let this be x and this be y. So we'll find we have to prove that x is equal to y by 2. Okay, and let's try to find the value of this. So if these are bisector, let's assume this is angle 1, this will also be angle 1, and this is angle 2, this will also be angle 2. Correct? Because this is bisector. QT is bisector of angle PQR, so this is both angle are equally equal. PR is bisector of angle PRS, so this angle will be equal. Okay. So we know that angle, uh, also we know that angle 2 will be equal to what? y plus 1, right? Angle 2 plus angle, I'll put it here. Angle PRS, nothing but angle QPR plus angle PQR. This angle is equal to this angle plus this angle. Exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angle. So PRS is, is what? 2 angle, angle 2 is equal to angle y plus twice angle y. This is one relation we have got. So angle y is nothing but twice of angle 2 minus angle 1. So we have got one relation of angle y. Okay. Same thing, let's try to find the value of angle x. So if you take this triangle now. Take this triangle. So in this triangle, angle TRS is equal to angle QTR plus angle TQR. Okay, because this is external angle and but uh, internal opposite angle. So TRS is what angle 2. QTR is what angle X. And this is what angle 1. So angle X is what angle 2 minus angle 1. So comparing these two, I can say that what x is equal to y by 2, right? Because if you see, if you compare these two equations, x is equal to twice of some values, y is equal to, sorry, y is equal to twice of some value and x is equal to same value, right? It is angle 2 minus angle 1. Compare these two, we can see that x is equal to y by 2. That is nothing but the same statement, okay? So let's do a quick summary. If a ray stands on a line, then the sum of the adjacent angles so formed is 180 degree and vice versa. So if there's a ray, there's a line, there's a ray stands on this. This angle plus this angle, angle 1 plus angle 2 will always be 180 degree. And the reverse is also true. And this is called linear pair axiom. This was not proved using geometric construction and observation. We have come up with the statement. So it is called linear pair axiom. If two lines intersect each other, then the vertically opposite angles are equal. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2 in this case. They are called vertically opposite angle. And angle 3 is also equal to angle 4 in this case. They are also vertically opposite angle. If a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each pair of the corresponding angles are equal. Each pair of alternate angle, interior angles are equal. And interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. That means corresponding angles are equal. If you talk about alternate angles, this angle, let's talk about alternate angle, these angles are also equal. And if you talk about angles on the same side of the transversal, internal angle, this angle sum is 180 degree. If a transversal intersect two lines such that either any one pair of the corresponding angle is equal, any one pair of the alternate angle, interior angle is equal, or any one pair of interior angles on the same side is supplementary, then the lines are parallel. Same thing, whatever we told, just the converse. This is the converse of this. Lines which are parallel to a given line are parallel to each other. They are three lines. If L is parallel to M, and let's suppose M is parallel to N, then L will also be parallel to N. Sum of three angles of a triangle is 90 degree. If you have three angles in this, you have sum of add all these angles, the sum will always be 180 degree. 
If the sides of the triangle is produced, then the exterior angle so formed is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. This is angle one, this is angle two, this is angle three. So angle one will be equal to angle two plus angle three. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.